Good morning, I'm Jitzel Puente with Two Works for You. Here are today's top stories. Police are investigating a tragic homicide and suicide in Dewey. Investigators say it stemmed from a protective order that a woman filed against her husband, 25-year-old Tyler Gage, for domestic violence. Yesterday afternoon, Dewey police and Washington County deputies served that order and evicted him from the house. When the man came back, they say he shot and killed 29-year-old Christopher Gilliam before committing suicide. A Tulsa man accused of sending inappropriate messages to what he thought was an underage girl is sitting now in jail. The Tulsa County Sheriff's Office says Christopher Forshee used social media to send lewd messages and nude photos of himself to a deputy who was posing as a 14 year old girl. The Sheriff's Office also says he aggressively tried to get the girl to send him nude pictures of herself. He was arrested for lewd or indecent proposal to a child and other complaints. A family right now is looking for donations to help cover the funeral costs for a father and son who died in a tragic car accident last week. Investigators say Antonio Ibarra and Eduardo Padilla were killed in a car accident in Minnesota on Thursday. Police say both were ejected out of a pickup truck after the driver lost control of the vehicle. Two others were also in the truck and were taken to the hospital. Now let's get a check of today's forecast with meteorologist Kerrigan Chauvin. Good morning, Kerrigan. Good morning, and as we head into the noon hour, we're going to already be in those lower 50s for us here in Tulsa. Partly cloudy skies throughout the day as we head throughout this afternoon, warming up into the upper 50s. Some locations could even see 60s as we head into your Saturday afternoon. Look at Seminole, 60 degrees for a high today. Now, as we head into tonight, lows drop into the upper 30s, going to be rather mild with those winds becoming more calm than they are at the moment. Right now, gusting up to 25, even 30 miles per hour for us here in Tulsa. It's going to be the case as we go throughout the start of your day. But as we head into uh, this evening, those winds will begin to die down. Tomorrow, warmer with a high of 62, 70 is possible by Monday. And then we're seeing a strong cold front pass through, dropping our highs into the upper 40s by your Tuesday and remaining below average as we head throughout the end of this week. All right, thank you, Kerrigan. That was our digital update. Keep checking for more updates throughout the day.